hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this looping loading animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin so if you are new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in Adobe After Effects, let's create a new composition, I'll call it as main animation as always, width is 1920, height is 180, frame rate is 30, duration is 10 seconds long and background color is white color and simply hit ok, go to choose green guide option and hit on title section. Now first thing first we need to create one rectangle, I'm going to select this rectangle and I don't uh, want any fill like specific color so I'll choose let's say red for now because we are going to change the color of this one later and by holding shift i am going to create one rectangle like this then select the shape layer press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab and align it vertically press p for position and let's make the position of this one to 300 like this or let's say 500 okay now select the shape layer hit ctrl d press p for position and let's add 200 in this 500 x position so i'll choose let's say 700 like this and select this hit ctrl d again press p let's add again 200 in it select this hit ctrl d press p again go and add 200 in it select this hit ctrl d press p again go and add 200 in it select this hit ctrl d press p and again add 200 in it okay so i'm gonna select all of them i'll press ctrl d to duplicate it and i'll bring them at the top i'll select all of them and i'll press ctrl shift c and i'll call it as reference layer like this and hit ok and select this press t for opacity and let's make the opacity 40 and we will lock this one okay now we have to animate this thing so before that what i'm gonna do i'm gonna right click and i'm gonna create one null object over here like this and let's select this layer press p for position as you guys can see the x position of this one is 500 so we will select this and we will press p and we will select this 600 so now it's gonna be in the middle of these two let's select the second one and i'll bring this over here downwards now select this one and I'll make it apparent with this null object like this. Let's zoom in a little bit, go to around 10 frames, select this null object, press or let's go to the start, press R for rotation, create one keyframe, go to 20 frames and let's make it, let's say 180, not uh, plus 180 but minus 180 like this and select those keyframe and hit F9 like this and go to the graph editor select this graph holding shift i'll move this handle over here and this handle over here so if i see this animation now i'll get something like this and let's hide all the other things like this one and this one let's enable this one and hide this one so i can see something like that and move this to 10 frames like this and at this point I'm gonna select this shape layer, I'll press P for position, let's create one keyframe, go 20 frame forward, create another keyframe and in middle of it, I'll bring this over here, select those keyframe and hit F9. So I'll get something like this, by holding Alt, you can decrease the duration of this one. So uh, I'm gonna get something like this. Now I'm going to select this null object and this shape layer and I'll call it as um, first of all press ctrl shift c and I'll call it as square and hit ok like this. Now select this square hit ctrl d to duplicate it and by holding alt I'll bring this over here press p for position and let's bring this over here. We will adjust it according to our reference layers like this. I'll move this over here so if I hit play as you guys can see. I'm gonna get something like this okay so now let's go to around five frames and I want this thing should start to animate from five frames so double click to open this 
hit U select all the keyframes and let's move them to 5 fifth keyframe now after that I'll go over here and instead of plus 80 I'll make this I mean instead of minus 80 I'll make it plus 80 so it will rotate it from here and as you guys can see in this one it's going to go upward and I'll move this downwards so if I see this I'll get something like this so if I go to my main animation this is like this and this is like this okay so again select this square hit ctrl D I'll bring this over here then this time I'm gonna go around 10 frames and first of all press P for position and let's bring we should bring this we'll go to the start and we should bring this over here like this go to around 10 frames I want this thing to start from here so select all the keyframes and we will move this over here okay and this uh, and uh, this should be 180 only uh, not 180 but we need to choose minus 180 go over here and instead of downwards we need to move this upward so if I see this I'll get something like this okay so this is uh, if you see this square 3 as you guys can see this value is minus 180 so which means for this one we need plus 1 80 which is at the square if you see over here uh, the value is plus 180 so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna select this square 2 and then I'll hit ctrl D and I'll bring this over here then I'll go to the start I'll press P for position and I'll bring this over here like this adjust it properly and now this time we need to go for 15 frames let's double click to open this select all of them and let's move this over here like this okay so if I see this animation now you will get something like this then I'm gonna select my square 3 I'll hit ctrl D and I'll bring this over here press P for position and let's bring this somewhere around over here and after 15 frames we need to start this animation from 20 frames so double click to open this select this keyframes and let's move them over here okay now all these things are animated now we will enable our first shape layer which is this one and we don't need all of them so I will delete it and after that I want this thing sh should start animate so I will press P for position create one keyframe and at somewhere around at this point I want this thing to go up to here so by holding shift I will move this over here okay so adjust it properly select this and let's move this keyframe somewhere around let's say one and select those keyframe and hit f9 so if i see this animation i'll get something like this and let's hide this reference layer for now we don't need that and uh, let's see at which point this animation goes still okay and at this point i'll press n and now if i see this animation i'll get something like this and if you think the animation is still not uh, very good looking all you need to do uh, make sure the alignment is proper and for that what you are going to do select this reference layers let's go to the effect and presets panel and apply fill effect on it and we will choose different colors let's choose black color and now we have to adjust the position of each and every one of them so select this squares and make sure that there is no gap so as you guys can see this in third one we should move this over here like this okay let's hide this one for now and let's see now let's enable this again we will select this shape layer let's go to the last keyframe as you guys can see there is a little bit of gap over here so select this and let's move this over here properly to cover this and let's hide this reference layer now and now if I see this animation I'll get something like this okay now select all the squares and press F4 and make sure to enable the motion blur in each and every one all 
also select this shape layer press f4 and enable this motion blur on them also so along with our this animation we will get this motion blur effect also now let's delete this reference layers we don't need that anymore select all of them press ctrl shift c and hit ok go to the effect and presets panel and search for ramp effect and we will choose blue purple color and over here i'm going to choose bluish color and i'll adjust one handle over here select this and move this handle over here like this and at this point i'll press alt close bracket and i'll move this over here let's increase it value up to 10 select this hit ctrl d move this over here select this hit ctrl d 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 and move this over here and press n okay so now we need to do loading animation also so select the rounded rectangle i don't want any fill so let's delete this fill the only thing i want is stroke and for the stroke color i'll choose this color only and hit ok and let's create what something like this press ctrl alt home press p for position and let's bring this downwards like this okay now select this hit ctrl d to duplicate it i don't want any stroke so let's delete the stroke i want fill and for the fill i'm going to choose this color only and hit ok then go to the rec contents rectangle one go to the rectangle path one and unlink this zoom in a little bit let's decrease the scale from here and let's go somewhere around over here and decrease the scale from here okay select this and hit ctrl d select the second layer press f4 and choose alpha mat select this alpha mat i mean this second layer press p for position press v for selection tool and initially i'll bring this over here or instead of that hit ctrl z first of all create one keyframe go to around one second create another keyframe go to the start and by holding shift i'll move this over here now you can select this sorry uh, select this keyframe and you can move this to the let's say around six second or seven second maybe and select those keyframe and hit f9 so if i see this animation i'll get this animation with loading effect so yep and press ctrl y to create a solid background and bring this downwards so we will get this final animation so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates and if you want to create some more interesting animations like this then check out these two videos i'll see you in my next video until then stay tuned